Welcome to another video tutorial from Oklahoma City University Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning. In this video, I'm going to show faculty how they can locate a Microsoft Teams meeting recording and download that to their computer. Now, why would you need to do this? Well, let's say, for example, you have scheduled a, an in, a synchronous remote session with your students because of inclement weather. And you have recorded that session because not all of your students could make it and you want to download that recording and make that available to other students within that same course at a, at a later date. You can do so by downloading that recording from Microsoft Teams and uploading it into your D2L course. A couple of things, first off, because of FERPA laws, please be sure that you are downloading and sharing a Microsoft Teams rec um, recording of a synchronous session with your students. You can only share and record, record and share uh, sessions that have students' identities with other students that are in the same course. So for example, if I'm teaching history of christianity one this spring in 2024 i can only record and share a session from for example let's say last week into this current course i cannot because if if it shows my students identities so for example their names or their faces if i were to try to use that same recording let's say a year from now when I teach history of Christianity one again with a different set of students if that video recording has any student identities in it if I share it in another course even if it's the same course title but in a later semester you're breaking FERPA so do not do that the recording can only go into the course in which students are currently enrolled if they show up in that recording, like their images. If you don't record their faces or their names, you can continue to use it. So how would I find that? So let's uh, open up Microsoft Teams. Um, there's a couple different ways I can do this. So I'm just gonna show you how you can do this on the browser. If you have the app installed on your computer, you can just open up Teams, but I'm just gonna open up my web browser, go to office.com. Log in using your university uh, credentials, and then I'm going to click on this Teams icon right here. And let's say this is my course. This is my sandbox course. Um, click on that. And I'm in my course for our demonstration purposes. Let's say this was my History of Christianity 1 course and um, I have recorded a session where did that recording go well I'm in my Microsoft Teams for my history of Christianity team you'll notice here under the general channel there's a post tab and a files tab if I click on the files tab you'll see a folder now that says recordings if I click on that and open it these will have the recordings that I have made. So let's say for example, this one that I did an hour ago, I want to download that and upload it to my course. I'm going to right click on it, download. It goes to my download folder. There it is right there. So now I'm going to go back to my D2L. I'm going to navigate to my course. There we go. Now, <laughs> I want to add that recording to my media library. Please remember, your D2L media library follows your D2L account. It does not follow your course. So I can place this video in my D2L media library, and then I can put that video in any course I need to. However, keep in mind FERPA laws, so if, if it has student identities from this History of Christianity one course, I can technically only put it in this course. But the media library is a feature within D2L that you can find under OCU resources. And then right here, 
You can also find the same access menu media library link under the gear icon here. But you'll just click on media library. Now, because I'm an admin, I see a lot of recordings. You're only going to see your recordings, okay, that you have uploaded into your media library. So click this blue upload file button, navigate to your downloads folder page, and then find the video in question, like that one. Click open, and you'll see here it's, it's uploading on the right hand side. I have recorded separate videos on how you can add captions to these videos, how you can edit them and, and take out mistakes. So consult those video tutorials for those issues. Now that I have it in my media library, now I can just go back to Course Home and uh, I can add that to a course announcement or I can come in and place it under, for example, if it was something that was pertinent to a uh, like weekly module content, I could come to my content page, go to the module in question, let's say for example this one, and then I can click on add existing or create new, navigate to the media library and add that. So for example, straight embed into the module as a video player, click on add existing, I'm gonna click on more, then media library, there's that recording. I select it and then click on next. I can change the title here if I want to. Click insert. And here you see it's been added as a direct video embed in that module. You can also add this as a page itself. Just click and that way you can type and add more details to it if you need to. So you click create new, new HTML document. And again, make sure that you're within that module that you want to place it in when you click Create New. Uh, so test video HTML page. And then here, give a sample header, maybe a paragraph explaining the context. And then click the Insert Stuff button, Media Library, type in the name. There it is right there. Click it. Click Next. I'm going to click the blue insert button. There it is. I'm ready to go. Save and close. So now I have downloaded that Microsoft Teams recording and placed it within my course content, which is not the first preferred method we would ask you to, to do. Um, but you've also learned how to add it to a course announcement, which is what we would like to see you do. So you can come over here in course announcements, click add new announcement, and it's the same process. So title, maybe a header, paragraph explaining context, insert stuff button, media library, search for that title of the recording, click it, click next, click the insert button, and then click publish. And now it shows up as a course announcement. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to the Center for Excellence in Teaching and Learning.